is there a way that you can reliably increase your creativity, have those times to uh, make those connections, you know, maybe read the things you've been wanting to talk to people outside of your field? Well, there definitely is. And you can actually do this in an organized and consistent way. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy. If you're interested in this, as well as other things like automation, time management, general productivity, you are in the right place. Go ahead and click subscribe. All right, so what I'm talking about here is having a way to deal with things when we're really busy and things get a little crazy or it's just maybe even a regular week, but you want to set aside that time for making connections, for reviewing ideas you've had, for taking in new information, maybe for reaching outside of your network and, and finding these new ideas. And there's a couple different ways I think you can go about this. And there's a couple good ways to do this. So let's talk specifics. One of those is not operating at 100% all the time. And by that, I mean not having your calendar booked with things to be doing 100% of your working hours. This is going to vary, of course, depending on um, what you do for work, um, who you answer to, uh, your personal preference and stress levels. But in general, reducing the load so you're not at 100 percent allows you that time to then dedicate to some activities, maybe such as, hey, if uh, you're working in this uh, scientific field, I want to review articles um, from that field. Uh, maybe I want to network with somebody outside of, um, you know, my exact field. I want to make a connection. You can do that. But if you're always operating at 100 or 100 plus percent, uh, that's going to be very difficult for you to do. So I find that to be helpful. But again, it's a little tougher to say, hey, here's exactly what you should do. That's really going to depend on, on what you're comfortable with. I will say, though, that if you find yourself not ever having time for these things, that you probably need to start time blocking out some time where either people can't book you um, or you have this time set aside, which kind of leads into the second way I would say to do this is to set aside some time for yourself to do this and you know start with one thing that you find to be very important. And perhaps uh, you find you get really good results when you're walking. Um, I know for myself, that's the case. I know a lot of other people who are like this and it's not that you have to go on some three hour walk but maybe it's just taking a break in the afternoon, perhaps after lunch, going for that 15 minute, 20 minute walk, 30 minute walk, and just letting your subconscious go a little bit, see where it goes, what are you focusing on, um, what are you interested in? Uh, another one might be, hey, going to a cafe and doing some reading. Um, I like to do that specifically with Readwise Reader. I'll go and say, oh, you know, I've got several articles I've been saving over the last few days. I'm gonna go back through that, see what's really interesting to me maybe clear it out a little bit, but also then read through, scan, make my notes, um, whatever it is, and stay up to date on that information. Other things you can do is to set a reminder of, hey, I want to reach out to people. Uh, maybe you have that list of people you either don't know and want to know. Uh, maybe you could get connections to them um, or people you know that you don't talk to frequently and you want to reconnect with them. It's friends. Maybe it's a professional thing whatever that might be. But setting aside that time can be hugely valuable. And I know a lot of times it's maybe not seen directly as being productive time, which I think is completely wrong. Um, and again, if you're spending maybe 90% of your time doing this, I, I don't know how you would do that, but that might be a little much. But if you, again, don't have this in your schedule, this is something I really think can, can be helpful. Um, again, for those random ideas, letting your subconscious work through stuff, or just staying up to date on some information that you really enjoy um, or things you like doing. So putting that in um, is kind of a way to consistently enhance or bring in some creativity, some networking, some ideas into your life and definitely will pay off big over time. So if you have any questions about how exactly to do this or the tools or anything like that at all, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to get back to you.